Good evening, my collective. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, let's get cracking. Um, I don't know if you're doing well, actually. I will find out. Um, so yeah, this is a general reading for all signs. Um, although I have a complete faith that this message will reach the person that it's meant to. I connect with my viewers. Uh, <laughs> um... And please, give me feedback. Uh, you know, your feedback does help. It, like, it's motivating. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, let's see. Um, so, this is the general energy for you today. emperor right and first energy out i'm assuming this is you but put your energy where it belongs you know your story um so this is somebody who's very mature very wise very honest um really stands in his own power right and then we have the queen of swords and the queen of swords she's very much the same she's like her honesty cuts through motherfuckers right this is the only fucking tarot deck I think I have where she's not holding a man's head in her hand. Like, Queen of Swords can be fucking brutal. Like, she is just like, I don't take no bullshit. Um, also, Queen of Air, right? So, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but yeah, and I see the, the imagery here that I'm looking at, just so you can see it from my perspective, it's like she's looking away from you. Like, I, I feel like she's probably not even noticing it's like she's looking away <laughs> it's like she's like over here like what's going on i'm cutting motherfuckers heads off over in this direction you know and i feel like you're kind of observing you're kind of like yeah you're observing her page of swords in reverse there used to be some sort of like uh hater energy right the page of swords is the hater um so like maybe Maybe somebody here has talked trash on somebody else here. <laughs> um, maybe there's just been, like, a negative connection or, like, you know, somebody was judgy on the other person and I feel like they're trying, they're changing their tune, right? They're starting to see, like, a different perspective here. So, <laughs> I feel like that's you. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not supposed to be too, like... I feel like that's you, though. I feel like you might have hated on this Queen of Swords, and she's like, fine, you hate me? Okay, goodbye. Let me just turn away and not look at you for a while. And then you're like, wait, why aren't you looking at me? Um, <laughs> you know, and it's like, and through your observations, I think you're starting to see a side of her that you don't hate, <laughs> right? Um, all right, so... <laughs> See, let's clarify this emperor. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Both of you are such independent souls, though. That's one thing I really respect here. Very fucking independent soul. And I love this, because she's got prayer beads on her wrist. And I actually love fucking wearing prayer beads on my wrist. But I always give them away. Every time I have prayer beads, I'm like, here, you can have this. You need these more than me. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's pretty dope. Um, also, there's like a butterfly on her throne, right? And butterflies are all about transformation. So maybe through her transformation, you're gaining a new perspective. And that's why you're kind of like, I don't hate on her. <laughs> maybe I don't hate on her. <laughs> maybe I like, okay. <laughs> like, that's kind of the energy I'm doing, okay. Um, don't hate me. I'm just saying what I see. <laughs> I look at all the symbolism. I interpret it that way. 
Okay, yeah, so we have the fool in reverse. So I see you in the energy of somebody who's just not doing anything impulsive. It's also the energy of not following your heart. So, um, not wanting to go into the unknown. Kind of like, well, it's scary over there. And that's very fair. That is very fair. I mean, that's the Queen of Swords. It's not like you take on a Queen of Swords and without a little bit of fear involved. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's be real. I'm an, I'm an air sign. I'm an Aquarius. So I definitely fucking feel that. Like, sorry, I have OCD, so I'm like, I have to be perfect. And then watch, I'll fuck them all up, like, later and not give a fuck. That's, that's, that's me. Okay? Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, so the air sign, I really kind of, it feels strong. It feels strong with this Queen of Swords. And if she's an air sign, then that's definitely, like, or at least she's in the energy of being an air sign. So she, it could be in her chart somewhere, you know, sun, moon, rising, whatever, <laughs> Venus, whatever she might love, like a fucking air sign. Good luck with that. And me, I'm a double Aquarius, but then I love, like, a fucking Pisces because I have Pisces in my Venus. So it's, like, very fucking confusing. Um... But yeah, it's like, this is a very intimidating energy, right? And so, like, not just anybody's gonna step up and be like, look, Queen of Swords. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> you know, it's like, you're, I just, I feel like that's intimidating as fuck for you. And you're just like, like <laughs> it's like, my mind is telling me no, but my body, my body is telling me yes. That's the energy of it. <laughs> okay, that's that's your theme song today, okay? Um, yeah, so let's clarify this Queen of Swords. What's her energy like? done stabbed her in the back 10 motherfucking times she okay <laughs> okay 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 um she ended a cycle here all right 10 is all about ending a cycle um swords is all about cutoffs there's a lot of fucking swords here there's a lot of air energy in this just saying um but what I see here is, like, she got stabbed in the back so many fucking times that she pulled all those swords out, resurrected herself as the fucking Queen of Swords, and she's defending herself, right? Or, well, not defending, she's protecting her energy, right? She's like, nobody's gonna do that to me again. Nobody's gonna fucking put me in that situation. Um, <clears throat> I feel like she just went through so fucking much. And that's probably part of why you're not moving forward, because you're like, fuck, this, is, this bitch needs to heal. <laughs> um, I feel like with the Page of Swords in reverse, you may have stuck a couple of those swords in her back. I'm going to be real. I'm, I'm, I'm just being real. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. And that's part of why you're struggling to follow your heart with this situation. And it's because you know you're probably responsible for a couple of those swords yourself. Um, so... Fuck, dude. <laughs> That's a damn son. She just, she resurrected her damn self, right? She resurrected her damn self. She's like, oh fuck no. I've been stabbed in the back so many, dude, one of these is going through her fucking neck, bro. And you know what that fucking tells me? The throat chakra is right there, right? So it's like something stabbed her ability to really speak on something, right? It really, it's like her, somewhere in here, like, in regards to her throat chakra, somebody wanted to put a fucking knife in that, you know? They're like, no, you don't, you don't speak your fucking truth, right? And she's like, I'm the queen of swords, bitch. I will always speak my truth, right? That's the energy I'm seeing. That's all, that's all I see. Um, so, yeah. Don't hate me. <laughs> Um, whew. all right, we got two pentacles in reverse. 
It's like both of you have made up your mind on a situation. Both of you. So let's talk about it. Let's see. Well, I think we kind of did. I feel like she's walking away and you're not doing any, you're not moving forward. She walked away from something here. Let's talk about, let's talk about both of them. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about it. Maybe I do need a little bit more than that. So let's, um, under the emperor, under the fool in reverse, what else do we got? Bro. Okay, so we have Knight of Wands in reverse. And then we have Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, and this Four of Wands, you see this happy couple back there just chilling, having a great fucking time, living their truth, right? Because Wands is all about truth and abundance and happiness. Knight of Wands in reverse is saying that. You're withholding something here. You're withholding the truth. And that's where the fool in reverse comes in. It's like you're withholding some something from her. Um, and I feel like she's fine with that. <laughs> I feel like she's like, okay, that's fine. Um, just with where she's standing, it's like, yeah. And it, what's funny here, too, is wands is all about fire. So I see all this fire on your side. And then I see all this air on her side. So, um, I don't know. It could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy on this side. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius on this side. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so, yeah. Let's, let's talk about it. So, after her Ten of Swords... Because I do feel like this is something that she's overcome. Like, this is, like, it's already said and done. The swords have already been placed. She's already made up her mind with the two of pentacles in reverse on the decision here. You placed one or two of those swords in her as well. Probably, I don't know, I feel called to that throat chakra one, though. And with the knight of wands in reverse, it's like, I feel like both of you are withholding. Both of you are withholding something. Or maybe she spoke a truth and she was stabbed in the fucking throat for it. <laughs> you know, that's kind of, that's what I'm seeing. I don't know. Let's talk about it. Uh, so, under the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so she went through a tower, right? Everything kind of fell apart for her in her life. Everything, it's like... All falls down, you know. It's kind of sad. But something definitely ended here. Something definitely collapsed. It's like she. Yeah. You know, I don't like to end it on that energy. And you got another card, so let's find another card. What happens after the tower for her? kids are in the background so if you hear that that's just them being kids just deal with it okay um aha okay now i see so she had to let go of a magician the magician in reverse right and when you think about a magician you like I often think about what they always say, like, a magician never reveals its secrets, right? So somebody with a lot of secrets, somebody who's good at weaving an illusion, some, somebody who's good at all that. I see them as somebody here who stuck some of these swords up in that back, right? So that's like another energy. I don't see that as you because the emperor, it's like you're honest. You might not be, like, speaking your truth fully on something. But you're honest, right? You're not, you know, you're withholding your truth. You're not just straight up lying, you know? You're not just, well, maybe you have. Maybe you have. I just get this feeling that it's somebody else, though. 
Because the Emperor is not so manipulative. The Emperor doesn't need to control in that way, you know? It's like they hold the higher authority in a different sense, you know? And so, yeah, let's clarify this magician in reverse. I want to know that it feels like that's the tower. That's what ended here, you know? Because I feel like with this energy... You know, you, you've been withholding feelings, but I don't feel like you guys have been, uh, together. <laughs> I, I just don't get that energy. I feel like, I feel like that's kind of something you think about, you know, with this Four of Wands in reverse. Like, you're kind of like, damn, that would be my wish fulfillment here. But I do feel a lot of reserved energy in regards to it. Um, you know, with the Fool in reverse, I just don't feel like you've done it. I feel like, I feel like you, you just haven't done that. Uh, so, yeah, it's like, this is somebody, though, that you, you look at, you know? Her tension is on whatever the fuck has been going on, you know, with her life. So, damn, this is intense energy, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, alright, so the Magician in Reverse, let's clarify that guy. Yeah, Justice in Reverse, it's like, she feels like she hasn't gotten justice in her situation here. It feels like... Like, there's been a lack of balance. Like, she feels like there's just no justice there. Yet. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure yet. It's like, um, you know, I don't know. It's like, I just get that energy of, like, she's like, wow. I get stabbed in the back. I lose fucking everything. I get lied to, manipulated. You know, and now I'm stuck here in this situation, this tower, right? Well, I don't think she's stuck in the tower, I think. I don't know, I just get this feeling that she's, I mean, she's a tough fucking cookie, you know? I don't feel like she's in tower mode, right? This second, I think this is something that has happened, right? And this is, this is your view of the situation. This is your perspective of the situation. All right, so what happens after the tower? like you can answer me <laughs> I'm sorry but like with the judgment and the justice in reverse it's like she maybe she was married to this magician full of secrets lies leave an illusion very manipulative kind of narcissistic everything falls apart the tower I get the energy of getting thrown out of her own fucking house that's kind of the energy I'm feeling here. Getting thrown out of her own fucking house. And it's like, with the justice and judgment in reverse, it's like, waiting on a divorce. Interesting. Okay, what's future energy for you? If you haven't seen the movie Diary of a Mad Black Woman, I feel like you fucking should.
Okay, so, okay, actually, I'm going to put these here. So, the two swords in reverse, this is, like, not feeling at peace. Like, I also see you taking off the blindfold to your situation and really seeing, seeing it for what it is but, and not being at peace with it. And then with the chariot in reverse, I see that you're not moving or you're not, like, leaving your comfort zone here, right? And that's a choice that you've made, right? With the two of pentacles in the room. So, and it's like, I see that you have no hate for her. It's just, you're terrified. Okay. So anything else that um, the universe wants? You to be aware of. Yeah, I just keep kind of coming back to this. It's like what you're not telling her is that she is your wish fulfillment, right? Because I see, like... Just this happy couple, flowers in their hands, they're like celebrating, they've got their own little house, they're very protected behind their wands, like, it's just, it's really cute energy, and it's like, but I feel like you're just keeping it into yourself, you're holding that to yourself, um, alright, so, See. What else can we leave the collective with? Some messages, encouragement, some advice. What do we got for you? It's like, no. <laughs> I'm just like, I'll get you some advice, I'm sure. I'll get you something out of the Oracle deck. Um, sometimes I just gotta shuffle it around. Make sure the energy's coming out the right way, right? Um, alright. Anything my collective? Oh, there we go. Okay, I feel like this is kind of what you really want to know. <clears throat> so, it fell out right on the Queen of Swords. And I feel like this is her energy. With this sweet temptation in reverse, it's like she's not falling into any temptation trap. Okay? I feel like that's really, I mean, you're, you're paying attention to her. You're really watching and observing this, uh, this character. And so... And I feel like you just kind of want to know that. Like, she's not falling into temptation traps. With a rare bloom in reverse, I get the feeling... See, you're, like, not super confident, right? You kind of come off as like, with the rare bloom in reverse, it's kind of that energy. I mean, but it's weird because you show up as the emperor, like, what's like, looking very confident. But then with the rare bloom in reverse, it's like, I feel like... Alright, I'm just gonna say what, I, what I'm seeing, because it's hard, and I don't want to, I don't want to say that. But it, it feels like you don't feel like you are, um... 
of a certain caliber, right? And I don't think that you're looking at yourself from the same perspective that she does. Um, it's kind of like, just like envision you saying like, why do you look at me like I'm magic, right? And she's like, you are magic, stupid. <laughs> and she's just like, you know, but it's, I mean, in a nice, not like condescending way, like in a kind of like joking, whatever, you know, and it's like, I just don't think that you see yourself very clearly. And that's part of it. It's like you show up looking like very confident, but then it's like the energy of what's going on underneath is not super confident. It's like scared that you can't live up to something here. Or that that's yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. Um I hope this was helpful. I'm gonna do a bonus reading. I feel like you might need a bonus reading. Uh, so yeah, namaste. I love you all and I will uh, talk to you on the next one.